Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to discuss how to enable one implicit checks feature to solve the derivative that denominator equal to zero issue. And in this video, I will use the TwinCat 3. I have two demonstration logic. One is the letter logic style, one is the structure test style. And you will see their denominator equal to zero. And without this division checks, once the denominator equal to zero, the system will have an error and uh, the controller will shift to the idle mode. And uh, after shift to the idle mode, it will be very annoying because you have to wait for a couple minutes, wait for the system show that invalid state, then allows you to confirm and you can log in the program again. Or you have to jump to your target controller and manually shift to the idle mode to the config mode. This is a super annoying. Basically, that means if you have this division calculation denominator equal to zero, then the system will shut down and in a couple of minutes, you will basically lose the control. You cannot return the system back up to on very soon. So how to prevent this? Then I will introduce this feature, the POU for implicit checks. So you enable this division checks. And I will use the TwinCat 3 to demonstrate this. Other than the TwinCat 3 system, Actually, if you are using any programming system platform that is a code system that also have this feature, go to the POU for implicit checks and you are able to enable this to solve this over zero issue. Okay, let's go to the back of TwinCat 3 system. And in this system, I'm using TwinCat 3 4024.20. Okay, and in this program, from this main, I'm calling one letter logic and one ST structure test logic. And in this letter logic, this is very simple. I'm using this enable and calculate this nominator over this denominator and result this is the result too. And the structure test and the same idea, I'm using this enable one and calculate the nominator one divide this denominator one. Okay, I'm using two different language to calculate the same idea. And as long as this denominator equal to zero, and once we enable this calculation, then we will see the controller will stop. Okay, and after that stop, this is really annoying. I will show this case. So I'm connecting my PC now. So it's showing the cross, that means I connect it. So this is my PC running as the controller. So now I have this program and let me download. Okay, active this configuration and log in my program. Okay, start this system. And I can log in the program. Okay, log in. Okay, now I haven't enabled this division calculation yet. So this denominator equal to zero, it doesn't matter so far. Firstly, let's transfer the denominator to a certain value. For example, I can set this nominator, for example, to 200, okay? And uh, just to prepare this nominator, I can prepare 100, okay? And once I enable this calculate, enable, then we will see what happened. So I can firstly go to the main, and this is the calculate enable one and the calculate enable two. If I turn on this calculate enable two, this is the lighter logic, Okay, I will turn to true. And in the meantime, let's watch this status. So I turn true, boom, we will see. The system immediately shut down because it over zero. The system will immediately jump to this spot while it's finding this issue now. So this is a great feature. It can directly point to you where it has an issue. However, the controller cannot run anymore it shift to this yellow status, okay? This is not configuration mode. Let's shift to the yellow status. Basically, this is the idle status, okay? If I turn on again, so this is the issue after this. So if we try to log in, try to fix that, go online, try to fix that, there's no way to log in this program anymore. If we try to shift to the configuration mode manually, we will see this area turn to gray. 
And uh, if we try to start, we'll see here, you still cannot go online to manually change this denominator. And if we try to download this hardware configuration, basically download all the things, including hardware configuration now. Okay, try to start up the system. And we will see still, even we download all, this area still shows gray. It doesn't allow you to log in the program anymore. This is super annoying. Okay, unless we receive this message shows Twinkat PLC control invalid result package. And after this, we click OK, then the system allows you to log in again. And uh, you are able to do some logic change and uh, log in your new program. Basically, 100% you need to fix that logic. Otherwise, you will directly jump to that idle status again. Okay. Okay, now this time I will use the structure test to show this issue again. Okay, let's log in the program. And uh, the structure test, I'm using the result one, nominator one and the denominator one. Okay, and uh, I can prepare the nominator equal to 100, for example. And uh, I can turn to true to enable this division calculation. Okay, enable. Boom, the system will have an error and will directly jump to this issue area now. Okay, and we will see the system jump to this idle status. Okay, rather than waiting the system message, that invalid status, that message, alternative way, we have to jump to this target computer using the remote desktop and then manually shift this computer system from the idle mode to the config mode or run mode. Okay, and let me show how can we do this. So I will use the remote desktop, jump to this target computer. I will jump to this desktop, this PC. Okay, I'm at my sync center, this computer, and we will see at this computer, it shows this exception, this arrow. And once we over to zero, it will show this arrow. Okay, and we can acknowledge. And in the meantime, we can go the right down, this right corner here, we will see this twin cat, this status is at exception status, the idle status. Okay, it shows totally yellow icon. And from here, we can right click, click the system and shift to the config or start, change this state. Okay, we can change to the start state. And in the meantime, we'll see this status. Okay, it turned to the green, turn to the run mode. Okay, once we manually shift this from the idle mode to the run mode or the config mode, we are able to download or log in this program again. And once we over zero and the machine shut down, most of cases, I have to jump to this window system and manually shift its status, okay? And once we shift this status to the run mode, and now let me go back to my engineering laptop. Okay, I shift back. So now I can log in again. As we can see, if you accidentally over zero, this is super annoying. Then I will provide this method, okay? Firstly, let's log out. So let's go to this PLC project here. And from here, if we right click, and we'll see here, the POU for implicit checks, and turn it on. And we will see this, the region checks. And once we check it on, click this open, then we will see the system will automatically add some program at here. Boom. We will see the system automatically add this check derivative long rail and the rail. And if we jump to here, we will see there are some codes behind. But you do not need to call those function. You basically active this feature and leave this code at here. And that's enough. And then let me show this time. And after we enable this feature, add, click this POU. We enable this feature, and after this, let's rebuild. 
Repeal the solution. Okay, and uh, this time let me log in. Okay. So once I log in this program, and this time, let me enable and enable this letter logic and uh, this structure test logic again. And uh, meantime, the denominator is still zero. And we can prepare this nominator, this nominator. Let's prepare 100. And uh, nominator, this is 200, okay? I can firstly prepare this nominator. And now let me enable. So we will see, once I enable, the system will use this uh, 100 over this zero. And go to the ladder logic, the same idea, 200 will over zero. So let me see what will happen. Okay, let's firstly start. Okay, now let's write the value. Okay, so we will find once I enable this calculation, then the system is still running this time. If I go to the ladder logic here, we will see what happened. So I prepare 200, denominator is zero, and the result is 200. So once we enable this division check, and uh, if your denominator equal to zero, the system will force this denominator equal to one behind, then your result is equal to the nominator. And now if I go to the structure test, this is the same idea. The denominator one behind will be changed to one. So to prevent this over zero, this calculation, okay, result is 100. So as we can see, this helps a lot, especially when you deliver the machine, go on site, when you basically finish your program, and when you try to deliver your machine, you better use this feature, enable that division check. If I go offline, and uh, you can go to this implicit checks, but here I like to show my idea. I would recommend when you develop your system, starting the program, you better uncheck this option. So when you have some error, you can immediately see where the error or where the glitches come from. So you can troubleshoot your logic, fix the problem. And once you deliver the machine, basically no way to touch this code anymore, then you better enable this feature to prevent something dangerous happens. Okay, the question, if you accidentally enable this, but you try to use the system error to find out the issue area, so you probably want to disable this temporarily. Then how to disable this? So we can just delete, delete all of them. Okay. And after you delete, we can go right side, go to this POU for implicit checks. So we'll see this division checks will turn highlight again. Okay. And after this, rebuild solution and then log in your program and this time if i enable this again we will see the system will shift to the idle again but the system shift to the idle mode again okay and then you can check this area fix your logic and eventually you can go to the pou and uh, enable this division again Okay, that's all in this video. I like to show this division checks. Basically for the TwinCat system, also for the Cortisys system, they all have this feature. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.